Hey guys, today we're going to talk about distress. What is distress? Distress is basically a court order to recover a rent that has not been paid from a tenant in the immediately preceding 12 months, that means 12 months before the date of the rate of distress, to sell and auction away property that is located on the premises to pay for rent that has not been paid, in other words, rental arrears. A writ of distress can be made for unpaid rent at any time after the tenancy expires if the tenant is still at the premises or his goods and possessions are still at the premises so that the, the court the bailiff can uh, seize and auction them away to sell. The writ of distress is addressed to the court sheriff and directs him to seize any movable property found by him on the premises which is enough to pay the unpaid rent together with the amounts, uh, together with the costs for the sheriff's uh, fees and expenses. Now it's important to note that only movable property can be seized such as goods and uh, possessions belonging to the tenant but not fixtures such as things that have been fixed to the wall and cannot be removed. After seizing the property under a writ of distress, the sheriff has to make an inventory and valuation of the property that is seized and has to give the tenant a notice of the seizure together with a copy of the inventory and valuation informing him of the amount due under the writ of uh, distress and that the property seized would be sold and auctioned off at the date and time unless he pays the unpaid rent or unless he uh, gets a court order to discharge the uh, the rate of distress. The property seized under a rate of distress will be sold at the time and place stated in the notice and the net proceeds of sale must be applied first to payment of the sheriff's fees and expenses. Then it will be used to pay any unpaid rent and the balance will be refunded to the tenant. If property liable to be seized under a writ of distress is uh, removed in order to frustrate or prevent uh, the seizure, a judge may on the application of the sheriff uh, get an order for 30 days for him to uh, follow and see such assets wherever they, they, they are moved or, or uh, moved to in an attempt to frustrate the seizure and to deal with it as if it was seized on the premises itself even though it was moved somewhere to evade the seizure. The following items cannot be seized under a writ of distress. Things that are in actual use in the hands of the person at the time of the seizure. So if someone is holding a Mont Blanc or a Rolex, you cannot seize it. Tools and implements not in use where there is other movable property in the premises sufficient to cover the amount and cost. The tenant's necessary clothes and bedding for himself and his family. Number four, goods in the possession of the tenant for the purpose of being carried, wrought, worked up, or otherwise dealt with in the course of his ordinary trade or business. So, if he's a mechanic, then you cannot seize the, 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 the goods for the purposes like the, the, the what do you call it, repair, uh, repair tools that is used for his ordinary, ordinary uh, trade and business because that would deprive him of uh, his ability to, to work. Number five, goods belonging to guests at an inn. If the property of a sub-tenant or a lodger, lodger that means a temporary uh, tenant, or other person who is not a tenant of the premises, they have been seized, such person can apply to the court to cancel uh, such items that have wrongfully been seized because they do not belong to the tenant and they should be re therefore returned to the sub-tenant or lodger or other person who is at the premises. However, such subtenant or other person at the premises have to satisfy the court, in other words, have to persuade the court that the property belongs to them and should therefore not be seized. So thanks for watching this video on distress.